Welcome all enlightened progressives. We all believe that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is so beautiful. We are all waiting for universal basic income so we can build sculptures and paint masterpieces all day and create beauty. We are alive, but unfortunately, some of us are no longer alive. Some of us have passed away, and I have created a video to honor all these lost souls that have passed away in 2018. Here is a list of all our fallen famous artists, people who lived to create. And one last time, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is so beautiful. Oh, about that honey trap I mentioned in the title. Gotcha! The trap has been sprung. The clamps are set. And the hook is in. And now you are trapped in my web. I will force you to listen to a wacko YouTuber called Bravo Von Mueller. And apparently this dude is off his meds and he's in need of some lithium supplements. So enjoy, snowflakes. Welcome to the Bravo Report 2018 in review. This is the very first time that I have produced an end-of-year report. I will call it 2018 in review. I will be showing images of all the Rothschild Illuminati shills that we have lost this year in 2018. You will be surprised of the number of famous people that have passed away this year. Some bad, some good. Nancy Wil Wilson, she was one of my favorites. A very good jazz singer. Okay, so let's get this on. This is the Bravo Report 2018 in review. We're going to go over everything that happened this year. Uh, and it's not in order of importance. It's just in order of how I wrote it down. Like Bitcoin. Bitcoin crashed from a high of 20,000 last year down to a low, a low of 3,200. I mean, not one of the most important things to happen this year because most people don't even own Bitcoin. I was at Walmart the other day and I asked the teller if she knew what Bitcoin was. She didn't even know what Bitcoin was. So there you have it. Gold and silver was relatively stable this year. The stock market was held up by the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel until the last month of the year when they finally showed their hand. And now they are playing the dis destroy Trump card, raise interest rates, and try to make Trump look like a buffoon. The corporate mainstream media continues to ignore and cover up the pension crisis in America, where we have a hamburger flipper, a bartender, and a waitress, three minimum wage workers, to pay for the huge $150,000 government pensioner with his vacation house in Hawaii. I mean, you do the math. That's not going to work out. And mainstream media's math skills are very limited. The banks finally were able to unload a lot of their unwanted real estate holdings to suckers. And now it's time to start charging a higher interest rates. Government Motors, I mean, I mean, uh, General Motors announced plants are shutting down in Ohio. But hey, thanks for that bailout anyhow, America. Sears, an iconic, legendary American rock that sold American-made products like car batteries and American-made craftsman tools, and the list goes on and on. Well, they went bankrupt, closing all the stores. That's sad. Toys R Us, well, that, that was a welcome bankruptcy. It's time for Americans to quit playing with Chinese-made toy junk. 
The 202-year-old Remington Company filed for bankruptcy. Wow. And I think they were doing good when Obama was a president. When Obama was a president, they were selling lots of Remingtons. And over a dozen huge retailers are shutting down. I guess American servant jobs just don't allow for much spending. The Mueller investigation is closing in on Donald Trump, so I guess after two years of playing footsie with the swamp creatures, Trump has finally thrown his voters a bone. He's throwing him a bone in, in December. Yeah, December. Trump, after two years, Trump finally starts acting like the man that they voted for. He announced Syria troops would come home. He's talking about firing the Fed chief, the chief of the Federal Reserve. He's talking about it. He let the witch Nikki Haley fly away. He gave Hillary the all-in look at the Bush funeral. And yesterday, he shut down the huge, bloated, wasteful government. I mean, we, even though we know it's a semi-bluff, and most Captain Kirk Star Trek fans can appreciate an obvious bluff from time to time. I mean, they're not going to let the government stay down for too long. It's a bluff. Semi-bluff. Okay. He's upping his game on the border wall rhetoric, which got him elected. Even though we all know what foreign country has locked up all the government cyber wall contracts. I mean, the money's spent. Criminals are laughing. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, ESPN and professional sports have lost ratings and viewers this year. It's been going down. It's a trend that's been going down for a long time. I think it, the trend is speeding up this year. Maybe the government-promoted diversion programs like sports are not working anymore. Well, we can only hope. The French citizens are finally in revolt over high taxes. They call themselves the Yellow Vest. They wear yellow vest as they create chaos and destruction for the rich and the elite. Nationalism continues to grow across the globe. Yeah, nationalism. As globalism is growing long in the tooth, and their shills, like old man Bush, get a one-way ticket to hell. So that's something. You know, we got guys like John McCain and George Bush heading off to that, you know, that other dimension, wherever, uh, wherever hell is. But anyhow, nationalism is continually getting stronger and stronger. That's probably one of the most important things that we can talk about what happened in 2018. It's been a trend, that, a trend that started even before Donald Trump got elected. But I only see nationalism growing and growing and growing. Why? Because globalism sucks. I mean, globalism put you and I out of work. Globalism shut down our factories. Globalism, basically, like I said, it sucks. Facebook, Amazon, and Google are finally being exposed as deep state intel collection agency, intelligence agencies. That's all, uh, that's all Facebook, Google, YouTube. That's all they do is they collect our, in, our information, store it to use against us. QAnon and the Q freaks continue to grow at an alarming rate. Some of their delusions include, but not limited, not limited to, they think that Donald Trump is really going to put Hillary Clinton in jail. They think this. They think that all the generals are quitting Trump to go on to a new job down in Cuba at Gitmo to run military tribunal trials and put all these deep state actors in prison and in dungeon. They truly believe all this stuff. They think that Donald Trump served Clinton, Gore, and Biden subpoenas at the Bush funeral. They think that Q is more powerful than the Senate, Congress, and Homeland Security combined. And they don't even know what Q looks like. I mean, Q could be some 90-year-old man, some ex-game show host, or Q could be AI, artificial intelligent experiment run by the military. Q could be anything or anybody, for all they know. I mean, they even think that John F. Kennedy Jr. is still alive, and he could be Q. I mean, seriously, it's time for Elvis to show his face. 
So what else is trending, growing stronger? A marijuana legalization is spreading like wildfire. Many states, states like Nevada, many, pretty, before it's over, all the states are going to understand that marijuana is not that bad for you when you're doing it at home. Of course, you're not supposed to drive with it. I mean, I know for a fact that alcohol, which is legal, alcohol is 10 times worse than marijuana. I mean, do what you want to do as long as you don't hurt other people. That's my rule. Do whatever you damn well please as long as you don't hurt anybody else. Do it in your home. Again, I'm not going to say it again. Okay, a false incoming missile alert in Hawaii at the very same time that Bill and Hillary are there playing in the white sand with Uma Abedin. Ha! <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. That was a big story back then. The cryptocurrencies were all the rage. The young people, fed up with the evil banking cartel, were thinking they were dreaming up new cryptocurrencies. I think every day, every other day in 2018, they were putting up a new cryptocurrency. I, I personally do not think they're going to make it because... Well, I know how powerful and how the governments work. And the governments do not want any competition when it comes to, to money, currency, fiat currency. Okay, what else? Uh, Rob Porter and Hope Hicks resigned. They, they got caught up in the Trump golden pumpkin patch affair. That was a big story, all Hope Hicks. Uh, Donald Trump having overdosed on too many Big Macs at 3 a.m. in the morning, puts in a request for a military parade. Yeah, they made fun of him. He wanted a military parade. I think he was even making late-night phone calls to North Korea on how to get the job done. I mean, what's the, uh, the tubby tyrant? He wanted to get pointers from the tubby tyrant on how to put on a military parade. The West Virginia school teachers they walked out. And they walk not because the children are being miseducated. No, that's not why the West Virginia teachers walked off the job. They walked off because they didn't think they were getting paid enough money. Yeah, we're ruining our, we're, our children are being ruined for life in public schools. Do the teachers give a shit? No, they're being miseducated. They're being indoctrinated. We won't even go into it. Saudi Arabia murders a journalist working in America, Khashoggi. Yeah, they actually murder a journalist. And uh, Jared Kushner and Donald Trump immediately begin to cover up. Huh. I mean, uh, apparently this is legal now in America. You can just cover up crimes as long as you are, you know, Jared Kushner or the President of the United States. Uh, Stephen... Stephen Hawking's transcended to a black hole. Oil man Rex Tillerson is fired in 2018, and not for stealing the natural gas out from under my land in Ohio either. No, he didn't get he didn't get fired for stealing my gas. Uh, YouTube YouTube continues to ban opinions from Americans that they don't like. If they don't like your opinion. YouTube continued to ban people, like Alex Jones got kicked off. That was a big story in 2018. Uh, I think pretty much all the social media places took Alex Jones down. Now, you don't have to like Alex Jones to know that that's just wrong. Alex Jones may be misinformation. Alex Jones may be off-the-wall, cra batshit crazy. But I think in America, Alex Jones has the right to spew out anything he wants to. That's my opinion. And I think that was the opinion of our founding fathers also. But again, not to the people at Google. What else we have here? Oh, Barbara Bush goes to heaven and George Bush goes to hell. Is that what you would call a divine divorce? In April, the National Guard was sent to the border to protect the border. And then just a few months ago, the active military men, soldiers, were sent to the border. Do you see a pattern here? Yeah. Harvey Weinstein is indicted. He'll be going to trial. 
Bill Cosby was sent to prison. Bill Cosby was convicted, sent to prison. And now all these women will now encounter cement ceilings. Instead of a glass ceiling, I'm pretty sure that these women are going to run into a cement ceiling. All thanks to hashtag me too. Okay, the Mueller investigation is raging behind the curtains. Rumors and propaganda abound. Paul Manafort was put in jail. General Flynn was given a town pass. He might be given no jail time. And the only real question here is will the 666 gang be able to protect Jared Kushner? I mean, he's as dirty as dirty can be. But will he be protected? That's the only question. Trump puts tariffs on the Chinese products. There was a big year, 2018, for putting tariffs on the Chinese products. And everything you see on the store shelves, which is made in China, well, you do the math there. And uh, no one watches Miss America anymore because they dropped the swimsuit segment. Oh, yeah, that was brilliant, yeah. The Miss America executives decided to drop the swimsuit segment. I mean, the only thing I got to say there is we got idiots and morons in positions of power. This is an alarming trend going on in 2018. Brett Kavanaugh is falsely accused of being a teenage boy with raging hormones over 30 years ago. But nevertheless, he is appointed to the Supreme Court. Now, John McCain and George Bush Sr. die, and they ask me, I get these questions all the time, they ask me, who died and left me in charge? Okay, no, just kidding. A gun control bill passed in California, and people continue to flee the Golden State. High taxes, the whole shebang. U-Haul and shipping companies are reporting that they don't have enough trailers to move all the people out of California. For example... If you want to move from Las Vegas to California, you go to the U-Haul people. They got all kind of trailers. All kind of trailers in Las Vegas can get your stuff to California. But on the flip side, if you're in California and you want to move to Vegas, there ain't no trailers available for you. So you know how that's working out. What else we got here? Oh, uh, 20 people died in a limo crash in New York. That was a big story. The foreign-born limo company owners well they were they were brought into the country by the bush obama clinton regime yeah you do the math on that uh, neutral gender x is now an option on birth certificates and to my knowledge there is no math on that equation new polio like cases are popping up at an alarming rate yeah some sort of virus that's related to polio and those cases are popping up all over the place the cdc does the uh, secret math on that and we got almost 100 million americans that are not in the workforce and they wonder if a universal basic income would stop all the shootings in america yeah that's what they're debating behind the scenes would a universal basic income stop all the violence yeah what do you, I mean, yeah, like I said, we got a bunch of idiots and morons in positions of power. They want to spend how many trillions they want to spend way, 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 way over there. I, some of those countries, I can't even pronounce their names. Okay, during the huge historic record-breaking fires in California, they had some really big fires in California in 2018, and there were reports of a strange new rash infiltrating the skins of the California people exposed to the California environment. I and mean, many people think that it was the sixth generation Morgellons released from a secret deep state laboratory. More to come on that. All of Trump's generals have resigned and only the sweatshop princess Ivanka and the son-in-law slumlord Kushner are left standing in the house of Trump once known as the White House. Now, Turkey, the country Turkey, the country of Turkey 
uses their Khashoggi murder evidence that they have on the Kushner in Saudi Arabia, and they use that evidence. Like I said, they have evidence against uh, Saudi Arabia and Kushner, and uh, they convinced Donald Trump to pull out of Syria. So I'd like to see that evidence that Turkey has against uh, Kushner and Saudi Arabia. That would be interesting evidence to be out there on public display. All I can say there is a strong move by Erdogan. Looks like Erdogan has played the Kushner-Trump regime. So what else we got here? Okay, there was a new internet cyber crime invented by Silicon Valley executives. They called it shadow banning. Yeah, shadow banning. Sort of a new crime on the internet. Congress is investigating as we speak, but don't hold your breath because basically shadow banning is, you know, pushing. If they don't like what you have to say, they push you down a black hole and nobody ever hears of you. Nobody ever. That's what shadow banning is. But anyhow, Nikon released a new P1000 super zoom camera, which can actually zoom in on the moon and show the craters of the moon. Yeah, I bought one, and it is amazing. And that's we gotta we gotta add that because that is big news for 2018. Most people don't even know that there's a super zoom camera out there for a thousand dollars that you can see the craters on the moon. So that's okay. Reports are coming out that Jared Kushner makes billions of dollars each year. He's definitely worth billions and billions. And he pays no income tax. None at all. I mean, you do the math. The flat earth theory is all the rage on the internet. Uh, Many people think it's a CIA disinformation program to make YouTubers look like morons. Yeah, because, you know, the CIA doesn't want their CNN and Fox operatives to lose viewers to, you know, wacko YouTubers. Basically, like, like if the CIA owns CNN and the CIA owns Fox News, I mean, they don't want to ruin a good thing. And that's basically what happens if you go to YouTube and get your news. Well, the CIA don't like it. They have to invent ways to discredit YouTubers. I mean, they have to stay up late at night thinking up new ways to make us look silly uh, Stor- Stormy Daniels exposes a late-night phone call that Donald Trump got from Hillary. They were talking about their plan. Yeah, I wonder what that plan was. Now, Stormy Daniels says this happened, you know, way before the election. So it looks like uh, Hillary had a plan right from the get-go to, well, this is about 2018. We're not going to go back to 2016. But anyhow, that Stormy Daniels comes out with that information in 2018. Now, the FBI evacuated a solar observatory. And like the mysterious envelopes that were handed out at the Bush senior funeral, well, Americans do not have the need to know. Whatever happened at the solar observatory and whatever happened with the mysterious envelopes at the Bush funeral, well, it's top secret, deep state stuff. You know, you don't have a need to know. Elon Musk was strung out on drugs and talking crap on the internet, and he was removed from his role as the chairman at Tesla. But he still remains the CEO of Tesla. Elon Musk. Okay. The sweatshop princess Ivanka and slumlord Kushner got invited to the secret Federal Reserve banking cartel meetings in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Yeah, that was a big story back when the Fed holds their secret meetings over there. I mean, why Ivanka and Kushner got invited, I don't know. But Americans, we got invited to watch the Kardashians. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. We get we get invited to watch basketball, football, and the Kardashians while they go to Jackson Hole and talk about billion. Oh, tr- they're talking about trillions now, trillions of dollars that they can steal from us. Okay, let's stay on a course here. 
Donald Trump admits to bringing a low life into the White House. And this is this was big big news in 2018 cuz Donald Trump normally never ever admits a mistake. But he did. He admitted, "Yes, I brought a low life into the White House." He was talking about Omarosa after they had to drag Omarosa out of the White House by her hair. <laughs> that I wish I had a video on that one. Okay, the hashtag Me Too movement hit a high note after the nuns sent the Pope a registered letter with their demands. Yes, it was a big story, 2018. Hashtag Me Too. Like I said, after that, the women are going to encounter a cement ceiling, not a glass ceiling. And Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks says he knows nothing about it. Okay, Donald Trump in July, acting like the man that the people voted for, he pardoned the innocent Hammond Rancher family. Yeah, the Hammonds, the Rancher family of Oregon. They were wrongly convicted, and Donald Trump manned up, and Donald Trump finally did something good. He pardoned them. That was in July. Okay, the North Korea tubby tyrant and Donald Trump dog and pony show, it raged all summer long as a diversion. Uh, by winter time, we were not really we were not they were not really showing that dog and pony show by winter, but in the summertime we had to hear about it just about every day on mainstream media. <laughs> the tubby tyrant and Donald Trump, dog and pony show. Hillary Clinton went to Mumbai, India, this year to check up on how all the stolen loot from America is working out over there in Mumbai, India. And what happened? Well, she came, she saw, and she fell. Yep, she tripped and almost fell down the stairs. Unfortunately, somebody caught her and saved her, and, you know, no harm was done. Uh, Elon Musk was using taxpayers' money to put Starlink spy system up into orbit, making Earth an open-air prison. Thank you, Elon Musk. There are rumors that the First Lady Melania is under the influence of a new Super MK Ultra 5G Nano Cloud Mind Control technology. I mean, I don't know how they got in there. Uh, reports of many new AI, artificial intelligence programs coming online this year. It's all the rage. Just ask Q. A YouTuber, Logan Paul, he went over to a secret suicide forest in Japan. He came back and was forced to apologize only to taser a dead rodent a few months later. And the Google executives went berserk. They took away some of his money. He was not going to be getting paid the millions. Uh, Donald Trump says the word shithole. And all the executives at Google go berserk again. That seems to be a trending thing in 2018, for executives to go berserk. Well, that was 2018 in a nutshell.